What's up you guys? I'm Devin Howard on Instagram as at Devin Howard and on TikTok as at Devin M. Howard. Today I'm putting together a beginner friendly and budget friendly computer using the Intel Arc A380 graphics card from ASRock. If you guys have been watching our channel, you know that I recently built my very first PC. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out right here. So obviously, I'm a veteran in the world of PC builds, and I figured it was a good idea to show all the newbies out there just how simple it can be to build your own PC. And the best part, this build costs less than $1,000. Now with any build, you want to make sure you're picking the right components, and for someone who isn't already as skilled as I am, the A380 GPU is going to be a great place to start with your first PC build. But most importantly, you get Intel Arc graphics, which leverages the latest in system technology so you can have a spectacular gaming or creating experience. Content creators and gamers alike will benefit from Intel Arc 3 graphics thanks to its industry-first AV1 hardware encoded and AI-enhanced XESS upscaling. With support for 8K resolution, you can get the most clear and detailed visuals possible. Support for DirectX 12 makes your games look as realistic as possible. I'm talking amazing ray tracing, mesh shading, and sampler feedback. What's more you can also tailor and customize your gaming experience with Intel Art Control. Play your game the way you want to. If you're going hard in a game of Fortnite or editing some high resolution photos, the Intel Arc A380 graphics card supplies you with near perfect imagery. Thanks to Newegg's custom PC builder, I was able to figure out all of the components I needed in order to create this budget friendly and beginner friendly build. All of these components are compatible with the Intel Arc A380 graphics card. Now that I've selected all of my components, I have them all here in front of me, and we're ready to start building. So let's get into the fun stuff, you guys. We're building, baby. Boy, it feels good to be back and building a PC, you guys. I'm excited about this one because it is so beginner friendly. In my first time building a PC, I chose a build that was a little bit more complex and complicated. I really wanted to challenge myself, and I learned a lot in doing that. So now, being able to kind of go back to the basics is a really cool experience for me, and I hope it's helpful for all of you guys who maybe are newbies to the PC building world. Now let's get started. I'm gonna grab our motherboard right here and just put it right in front of me. Now, the first thing that we have to do is install the CPU. This is an Intel Core i5 CPU over here. It's gonna go perfectly with that Intel Art graphics card. All right, I'm going to flip this open here and then we place your CPU down. There we go and it goes right into place. This is my first time actually building an Intel PC, so that's exciting. Perfect. All right, the next step is going to be installing the RAM. We have two sticks of eight gig RAM. This is Oloy DDR4 RAM. Now you guys are gonna notice there's a little gap right here in the middle on each stick of RAM, and you're just gonna want to align that with the little notch that's right here on the motherboard. I remember the first time I installed RAM into a motherboard, I was being very gentle with it because I was nervous I was gonna break something or bend something, but you can actually apply a little bit of force. In fact, you're going to need to in order to properly install these. Okay, now we're going to install the M.2 SSD. This is an Intel 670P series. It has 512 gigabytes. And we're going to put that right here. Here's a little tip for you guys. You'll know your M.2 is properly installed when it's got a little bounce like that. You wanna watch it bounce. Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. So it looks like ours is good to go and we can screw it back into place. There we go, things are looking pretty good, you guys. Now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is going to be installing our motherboard into the case. So I'm gonna move this to the side and then we'll open this up. Okay, hopefully I can just screw these out easily. Oh, look at that, ooh. Ah. Wouldn't be a Devin Howard special if something didn't go flying, so now you guys know. 
I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. Okay, we have the case open and it's on its side. Now I want to point out something. There are some risers that are already installed into this PC case and those are going to act as your guide when you're placing your motherboard. That's where all of your screws are going to go. So just keep that in mind. It's always those first two screws that are the hardest, you guys. Oh yeah, that ain't going anywhere, you guys. Okay, I flipped this PC back over and now we're getting the PSU installed. It's all plugged in, so we're just sliding it right into place. Screw number one going in. How fun is this? But this is my job, you guys. Just out here building PCs for fun. Okay, we have all of these cables that I'm gonna start hooking up before we get into installing all of the other components. Let's start with this one right here. All right, now I'm plugging in our HD audio connection. And we've got our USB connection right here. Okay, so the next step is installing the CPU cooler. And the first thing that you have to do is put a pea-sized amount of thermal paste right onto the CPU. I love using thermal paste because I feel like a doctor, like I'm about to give you a shot or something. So it's kind of fun. Okay, so we're gonna just put a tiny little bit right here on the CPU. There we go. And now you will put this copper plate here right on top of the CPU and connect it. You have all the connections here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just place this down onto the motherboard. Now we're gonna screw the CPU cooler right into place. All right, you guys, so now I have screwed in our cooler and we're going to just connect this three pin and four pin to the motherboard. Okay, now we're on to the final step, you guys, and that is installing our Intel Arc A380 GPU from ASRock. So let's get this out of the box. Now this uh, GPU has a small form factor, as you can see, but it still is very aesthetically pleasing. You have this sort of like brushed metal look right here, and this fan has some RGB in it. You also have the installation guide if you need it. All right, you guys, now your GPU is just gonna be installed directly onto the motherboard. So let's do that right now. clicks right into place. And now we're going to screw, <laughs> we're gonna screw it into place. All right, looking pretty good, you guys. Now we have one cable that I'm going to plug into our GPU. And then I think we're gonna be ready to turn this baby on. <laughs> there we go. And now, we're gonna plug it right in. Okay, now before we can power this on, we do have to hook up a few remaining cables. We've got all these little guys right here. Okay, you guys, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna power this PC on and make sure everything is hooked up correctly. We're also gonna see the RGB LEDs do their thing. So let's hit that power button in three, two, one. Woohoo! We did it! You guys, this looks absolutely incredible. I love all of the RGB. We've got it right here on the RAM, on the fans, right here. I mean, this looks like a great PC and it's budget friendly too. Even though I'm an expert PC builder, it still brings me so much joy and excitement to see a PC I built come alive for the first time. Building a PC doesn't have to be complicated or complex, you guys. Building something simple and beginner friendly still brings so much satisfaction, especially when you're using an Intel Art graphics card. The the small form factor of this guy makes it perfect for builds that aren't super bulky, but it still brings big power when it comes to graphics. Shop for your Intel Arc A380 graphics card at the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.